Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi and this is going to be a message for well whenever this message reaches you because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? Whew, okay, so Oh gosh, how did you put, I am full of it tonight. Um, yeah, there's, there's this renewed energy like, dude, chill. It's going to be fine. Bro, don't, don't even, don't even worry about it. You know, the stuff that usually keeps you up at night, don't even let it bother you. Okay. You swept, you mopped, you refreshed, you ready. You swept, you mopped, you refreshed, you're ready. Okay, so let's see what messages Spirit has in store for us today. Look at that. Starting us off already with the star. Let me make sure that this is, yeah, there we go. The star with the nine of wands the seven of wands and the queen of cups there is healing from the physical the physical oh jesus i'm hearing physical and mental pain even though this is the seven of wands um this is it's like you know defending yourself on all sides kind of thing very king of the hill I always say that with the seven of so seven of wands it's like king of the hill energy you know um, and then the queen of cups right behind it like this this trial this this trial that's been happening I'm hearing this this could be nine years this could be nine months but this was a long long trial and there were times when you didn't know which way you were going right but the star is here to help make sense thank you spirit to make sense of all of this so that you step into like your queen of cups energy where you understand your emotional content and you're also able to assist others in navigating their own five of wands page of pentacles two of swords eight of wands so There's been a struggle and it's mm, there's there's it was messy. There was a messy struggle. Um like a messy breakup, messy heartache. Um, whatever this was it it really did cause you to go in and address the mess in your life and really look at it and choose to do different to be better to to move in a different sort of way you know and with the eight of wands um, you're going to receive word on your progress looks like it's a good message with the three of cups in the ace of wands nine of swords in the knight of pentacles
even in the midst of the celebration and the new passion, this is still kind of lingering in the back of your mind, which makes sense because you're just coming out of this major, possibly traumatic event. So there are going to be lasting effects, right? But the Knight of Pentacles is here um, basically to let you know that yes, this process is not going to be a quick one. It's going to be a long, arduous process. And that once it is complete, it is complete. You're just coming out of, you're, you're coming out of this state. You are already, you were dealing with it in the physical, right? And as you're coming out of that, the mental still has, you know, long lasting effects from the pain, but the Knight of Pentacles or Prince of Discs as he is portrayed in this deck basically says that, you know, you're going to be okay. It's going to take a while, but you, you're going to be all right with the High Priestess. Yes, sir. I know a lot. Don't say shit. Know a lot. Don't say shit. Doggone right. With the King of Wands, the Hanged Man. If you don't get at it, get get done. Everybody log off. And the Six of Wands. Everybody log off. We are finished for today. That's all there is. I can't take no more. One moment. My word. My word. What I'm getting from here is that you have a deep inner knowing that you are worthy of the attention that you are about to get. And not only are you worthy of that attention, you're going to bask in it. And now that you're in this new frame of mind, you're able to see this, this healing and this the, the pageantry and accolades that will be heaped upon you you're able to see this in a new way you're not going to go in and like apologize for your existence like you probably once would have right um the king of wands um doesn't make excuses for the performance whether it was stellar or not super great if it wasn't super great you're not going to hear about it on stage how about that the audience won't know i'll tell you that much and you got the six of wands here this is it's victory man it's it's a successful endeavor whatever it was that you set out to do you will find success with that if you haven't already Ten of Swords because you got new lessons. Nine of Pentacles and you're in a good spot. The Hermit, you are in tune with your star player, ma'am. Sir, with the Two of Pentacles and change. Absolutely. Absolutely. ding dang lutely. Just because you got it don't mean you need to spend it. This looks like it was something, you know, that was devastating. And you know what? It probably was. But you know what else came out of that? You got 10 more swords that you can smelt down and to make it to a super sword. Said it before and I'll say it again. Any 10 signifies the end of something. But not only that, you also get souvenirs. And with this 10 of swords, the souvenirs are the lifelong lessons that you will take with you to the end of your days and probably pass that priceless information onto generations after you so that they can avoid the Ten of Swords the way that you had to experience it. Okay, then we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. And this is uh, the card of luxury. Here in this deck, it is indicated as glam. Okay, look, we're chilling in the jacuzzi. We got the cucumbers. We got the microfiber towel. We got candles and what not baby we are chilling 
chilling in the spa. And I'm willing to bet you dollars to donuts, that's a green tea she's sitting in. Don't knock it till you try it. Then you've got the hermit here. Now the hermit is like stealing away from the general public to gain deeper knowledge, right? Um, this could also be knowing where to hide the gifts so that you can come back for them at a later time. Thing about hermits is that they're going to know all of the back roads. They're going to know where the trap doors are. They're going to know how the city actually runs. Eh? Because they spend their time in the shadows away from the light, not too far from the light because the light is here. And also with the Hermit energy, it's not, um, it's, it's definitely a time for introspection. And it's much like this hangman here. You get a new way of, you, you discover a new way to look at the world around you, right? And when you get that new view, here comes the Two of Pentacles. It will cause change. It may cause you to juggle some things. It may cause you to uh, do a bit of a balancing act. You know, it's kind of like when Edgar Allan Poe says, I'm not crazy, I just know too much. You got some new information, man, and now you gotta, you can't, you can't just have all of the information just out there. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta keep things balanced. Rounding us out, the Wheel of Fortune, Art, Four Swords, and the Six of Pentacles again, success. And we talked about the gondola in a previous reading, talked about getting on the gondola, not getting left behind. This here, this shit right here, this shit right here, I see a new, balanced, peaceful existence. You don't have to hoard all of everything. You have enough to give. You have enough to be able to splurge on yourself a little bit and also give to those around you, right? Because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and you have the art and or temperance here. So with the temperance, it's like perfect balance of all things, not just two things, not just three things, all the things. The Four of Swords here is literally the card of rest and or pause. The Three is the card of the heartbreak. The Four is the card of healing. So this is coming out of crisis mode and taking a breath before the Five of Swords comes in, right? peaceful if only for a moment but peaceful and then rounding us out here we've got the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is also a card of coming out of something that was very difficult the five of pentacles is the you know um left out in the cold nobody loves me got to seek the help of other people i don't want to do this it's it's that whole chestnut but coming into the six it's like oh i made it i live to tell the tale well that's good yes it's very good um a couple things six Six. Yeah. So you've got your six here and your six here. Victory and success. Okay. Your outcome looks really, really good. Really, really good. Stay connected. 
can't stress it enough. We've got Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess, Abundance, the Star. Yeah, you've got, you have a lot of positive things coming into, coming, coming into your world here. Just be ready for it. Stay connected and be ready for it, right? Balance. Time of plenty, confidence, new passion, because you dug into your mess and you rolled with your punches. Absolutely. Peace, after a time of introspection, changing how you looked at things because how you were feeling before was not sustainable because you chose to fight against the things that were coming against you. Ladies and gentlemen, things are finally, finally starting to look good. Hallelujah, Jubilee. Well, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.